Hey guys, so this is my first official bump date. Now, let me just kind of go ahead and get into all the craziness that is going on right now because it's a little stressful, it's a little confusing, I don't even know. But today I should be about four weeks and two days pregnant if I had my dates right, which it should be close. It's within at least like a day or two, I would say because I didn't use OPKs or anything like that this cycle. So, you guys have seen my live pregnancy test, and I know a lot of you couldn't see the lines. Really hard to pick up faint lines with the camera, guys. But I promise there are lines there. I ended up getting a positive, or like it said pregnant on clear blue digital, either the next day or the day after, I don't remember. Um, I also had a blood test to confirm that I was pregnant, so that was good. Yeah, okay, so now here's where the kind of the the problem lies. So I've been that compulsive TTCer that has continued peeing on sticks, which I shouldn't be because once you get a line, that's it. You're pregnant. Chill, right? Right? That's what you're supposed to do? No. I've been peeing on everything. Not everything, just pregnancy tests. And I haven't noticed my lines getting that much darker. And so I freaked out. They did the blood test and confirmed it Friday. Now, it wasn't confirmed until like 4 p.m. on Friday. I tried to call the doctor to see if I could get progesterone for the weekend, but my doctor couldn't prescribe it because she's not an OB. So I had to call the other hospital, which is far away. Long story, basically. I tried to call them. I was on hold for 15 minutes. They dropped the call on me because they stopped taking calls at a certain time, so I didn't get a hold of anybody. So again, I'm freaking out. I don't have progesterone. Terrible. So first thing yesterday morning, Monday, I tried to contact them again. I left a message, a nurse called me back, and then she was putting in all my information, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, oh, well, you actually live too far away from here. You're not gonna be coming here. We're gonna refer you to a doctor off post. And if you're not familiar with military healthcare stuff, uh, they have two different kinds of insurance. I'm on a certain kind where you have to go see a military doctor. But because of our distance from this main post and big hospital, they're referring me to some like a, a normal OB office in Savannah, which is good. I'd rather see somebody closer. The problem though is that the referral takes a couple days and I don't know who I'm going to go see. They assign it to me. So um, right now I'm in limbo because I don't have a doctor at the moment and you know, I asked if I could at least get a repeat blood test done to make sure my levels are doubling, and they said that if I drove over an hour away to this hospital, I could get a blood test. And I'm like, dude, I can't do that. Like, I have Jonathan. It, like, I, it's too much for a blood test when there's no reason they couldn't do that blood test at our local clinic. It just doesn't make any sense. They're not making it easy. So I'm kind of to the point now where I'm just exhausted. I'm like, it's, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Um, so I'm waiting for my referral to see who I'm assigned to so I can get in there as soon as possible, but I have to wait. However, I did find my prescription from Jonathan for progesterone. It was already filled. Um, and I went ahead and started taking it because I know that it's not gonna hurt anything if I do take it. That's exactly what my doctor told me last time. He was like, before they tested it, he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to you. It's not gonna hurt even if your progesterone is fine. So I did start taking it last night. Not until Monday did I start taking it. So I'm still very worried that maybe this pregnancy isn't viable. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and do a four week update anyway because I am pregnant today and I'm thankful for every single day that I'm pregnant and I'm going to celebrate each day and I'm trying to be as positive as possible because it's really hard to see or I guess to not see your pregnancy test getting darker. The only time that's ever happened to me was when I have had a miscarriage. So it's frightening, but here's what I have to keep telling myself too, is that when they did my beta on Friday, which was 12 DPO, I think, um, it was at 17.5, which is low. They told me yesterday, I didn't know that on Friday. They just said I was pregnant Friday. So. 17.5, but it's actually still within normal range. So even if it's doubled, it still would be low. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
So I'm trying to hold on to hope and not lose hope. Um, but I, I'm just ready to maybe get some answers. And I'm trying to be calm. <laughs> I'm trying to be calm and level-headed about it. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I am trying to maybe at least prepare myself if it doesn't work out, but while still maintaining my positive attitude about that it could, could work out. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyway, that's my long rant about what's going on right now. But I'll quickly update on my symptoms that I'm having, and I will make another video on symptoms that led up to my BFP. Um, but right now my biggest things are shortness of breath. I feel like I run a marathon every time I do anything. Um, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I'm breastfeeding and pregnant. I want to eat everything in the world. So that, um, my nips are sensitive, which makes nursing not fun. So that's not the best. I've experienced a little bit of nausea. Um, if my stomach gets empty, I feel a little like, eh, not so great. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh my gosh, the biggest thing, which is also like the main symptom I had that was like maybe something weird. I am so bloated. So bloated. It looks like I ate Thanksgiving dinner. A couple of food smells are kind of turning my stomach a little bit, like eggs. I love eggs, but I don't want to smell them. It's gross. Something, oh, coffee. I smelled coffee the other day and didn't like it, and I love coffee. You guys know I like coffee. So that was weird. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really about it as far as symptoms go. It's early, obviously, and all of that. But if I can just ask you guys to please pray for us because obviously I don't, I don't wanna lose this baby. I don't wanna have to go through another miscarriage. I just want everything to be okay, obviously. So if you guys could just send good thoughts and prayers, good vibes, whatever you do, that would be so appreciated because I'm nervous, honestly. And um, yeah, so all of the prayers would mean so much. And like always, I'm praying for all of you guys. I hope you're doing great and I will see you in the next video. And I'll keep you guys updated with everything going on, obviously. Oh, bum shot, bum shot, because it's, um, you know, it's a pregnancy update, it's a bump date, so. Here is my four week, two day ish belly. And by that I just mean excessive bloat and I just ate so like really excessive. Just don't judge my life, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. I hope you're doing great and I will see you later.